Are you tired of being broke in GTA 5? Well, introducing JG Gaming. JG Gaming offers GTA 5 online cash, rank boosting, modded accounts, and more. There are great prices and it'll be definitely worth it and it'll improve your GTA 5 online experience. The link of the website will be in the link of the description of this video, so make sure you go check that out. You can see reviews on Trustpilot.com, and any of your questions can be answered on the website. Make sure you use code Brisky at checkout for a discount. Okay, so Rockstar has passed every single gift card to friends glitch that involves using an RC Bandito. So this one I believe is the only one that works for now. But yeah, so the crimes for this glitch, you need a office with the office garage, you need a facility, and you need a festival bus or a dune that is stored inside of your office garage which is pretty easy to do I'll show you how to do it in this video and if you do not know what a dune is it's just another big vehicle like the festival bus but yeah so make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button and join that discord and let's get straight into the glitch okay so I'll be telling you how to store your festival bus or dune inside of your office garage it isn't that hard you just want to make sure you have a full office garage that is full but yeah so just call in that festival bus and you do not need to do this if you already have a festival bus stored in one of your office garages. But yeah, so get in the festival bus, make sure one of the garages you're trying to put the festival bus or dune in is full. And just want to go ahead and put it in there and then press A on the garage you want to put it in. And you should press A and alert saying that the garage is full. Now you just want to go ahead and replace it with any car, it does not matter. And yeah, boom, there you go, it is stored in there now. So now I'll be telling you how to do the glitch. So you just want to go ahead and just take this festival bus outside. Once you're outside, you just want to go up to the garage and press A to go in the office garage you took it out of. But before you do that, you want your friend to start up any mission, like the title of a job. This is how you do it right here. So once your friend is in that job, just go ahead and drive the party bus in to the garage and just press A on the garage that you took it out of. And then you want to press pause and right when you see the background go black, you're going to go ahead and join your friend. So you just got to wait a little bit here and then soon you should be on a black loading screen as you can see I am now. Now you just want to go ahead and join your friend as you see I'm doing it through my Xbox right now or you can do it through the pause menu it does not matter but I am joining my friend right now even though you can't see it so I just got the alert to join the friend and just press A in this alert and then you should be loading into the job once you get into the job you just want to go ahead and leave it and you should spawn in on foot next to your party bus and then you just want to go ahead and call in any vehicle to get to your facility. And before you do that, I recommend glitching out your friend too by also starting up time of a job for him to do everything you just did so he can get glitched out. And then you just want to go to whoever is receiving the car's facility. Before you get to the facility, you want to steal a free car off the street. I'm pretty far from my facility right now because no cars really spawn near it. So yeah, you just want a street car and you're going to have your friend grab a big vehicle that can easily flip this car over or just have him bring the car that he's giving you and flip your car over with the oven atomizer so yeah so once you're in a street vehicle that you stole off the street you want to go to your facility and you want to go into the yellow circle as you can see here and then you should be on alert right now as you can see I cannot see anything but my friend he can either take a big vehicle to flip my car over or just use an oven atomizer either one of those works he just has to flip my car over somehow but yeah that's all you have to do just flip my car over while i am on this alert but yeah you can't see it because i'm on the alert right now but my friend is flipping me over as i speak so once your friend tells you that he's done flipping you over you just want to press a on alert you want to accept the alert do not decline it accept it then you should be flipped over and you just want to press y or triangle to get out of the vehicle and yeah and i just want to run away from the vehicle and then you just want to kill yourself through the interaction menu, like this. Make sure you're out of your CEO or else you would not be able to kill yourself, but yeah.
Okay, so once you spawn back in, you're just gonna have your friend call out any card he wants to give you. If your friend used a specific vehicle to flip your vehicle over, you can just return it to storage and call out another vehicle that he wants to give you. But you want to drive back up to the facility. Your friend does not have to be in the car with you. Now just enter into the facility and press A on that alert and you should be loading into it. So once you get in, you just want to transfer that car with any free vehicle in your facility. I forgot to mention that you have to have a free vehicle in your facility. But yeah, so just transfer that out and then boom, the car is yours. So this glitch isn't the best trading method, but if new ones come out, if I found out about new trading methods, I'll try to keep y'all updated. But yeah, so peace.